What's happening, Polite Society? I hope you had a good week. Today I'm going to provide a very brief biographical sketch of Rodney Howard Brown. Then we'll take a look at clips featuring him, and I'll be providing my thoughts. Okay, let's delve in. Rodney Howard Brown, along with his wife Adonica, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly, are the founders of Revival Ministries International. As a boy, Brown was raised in a Pentecostal family. In December of 1987, Mr. Brown, along with his family, moved from their native land of South Africa to the United States. It was said that God had spoken through Rodney in a word of prophecy and had declared, As America has sown missionaries over the last 200 years, I am going to raise up people from other nations to come to the United States of America. I am sending a mighty revival to America. In 1989, it is claimed that God sent a revival of miracles, signs, and wonders, which began in a Clifton Park church in New York. Brown himself led a long-term revival at Carpenter's Home Church in Lakeland, Florida. Let's not turn to some criticism. Rodney Howard Brown teaches the message of the false word of faith movement, which we have discussed many times on this channel. He has also claimed to use the gift of tongues. Uh-huh, doesn't matter what they think. <laughs> oh, no more de esta pacalia, no. Oh, le bebe de apasho no pre. In a man, man, no more go long bone jamba. Plum, plum, I'm hungry, my head. I'm aged in scab. Bull bum in a my head, be plum, I don't know more bull. Be a man. The gift of tongues was a supernatural gift in the first century in which an individual spoke in an unlearned language. In 1 Corinthians 14, when Paul provides instructions on the proper use of tongues, he states that believers were to speak one at a time, and only two or three were to speak in a service. Additionally, when tongues were spoken in church, they were to be interpreted by another individual who had the gift of interpretation. This was so that the members of the congregation would be edified by the message given by God. That is not what is taking place here. This is simply Kenneth Copeland and Rodney Brown speaking in gibberish to one another. No interpreter of tongues is present. No one is being edified. No one is actually speaking in tongues. Mr. Brown has been referred to as the Holy Ghost bartender and has also been known for having people falling under the power during his services, as well as breaking out in holy laughter. It's about called the damn busters. Remember with the rolling bombs and that? That's what I do in revival. Come and blow up those dams, get the water to flow again. Come here, both of you, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Run, 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 run. Fire! 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 From the top of your head will shake your region, shake your town. Shake. What, what happened to you? <laughs> Where were you sitting? Over there. Yeah. Oh, I was, oh, oh. Tell them where you're from. <laughs> Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's from Bethlehem. Clearly this practice is not scriptural. Nowhere in the Bible do we see persons breaking out in laughter when in the holy presence of God. In fact, we see the exact opposite. Isaiah declared, Woe is me, for I am a man of unclean lips. Both Daniel and John fell down in awe and wonder. We don't see anyone in the scriptures break out in laughter as a result of an encounter with the Holy One of Israel. Let's pray that the Spirit of God works in Mr. Brown's heart so that he will come to true saving faith and embrace the true gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ladies and gents, if you want to share your own thoughts, be sure to do so in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content here, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. Then you can hit the bell for notifications. I upload a new video every Wednesday and every Saturday. Today was an exception to the general rule. The source material which I use for this video is available in the video description below. Have an awesome week, and for my brothers and sisters in the Lord, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all always. I will see you all in the next video. God's blessings on your week.